how the mafia makes money intro uh, when you hear the word uh, word mafia you think of the cool violent group of the people in the black suits who always carry a gun and shoot whoever disagrees with them at least that's how hollywood uh, portrays them uh, in movies such as uh, godfathers uh, board uh, woke empire and so on uh, we don't really talk on this channel about uh, t uh, topics uh, such as Mafia, but Mafias are organizations uh, like uh, corporations whose main objective uh, is to make money. The only difference between the normal businesses and the Mafia is that they do it illegally. And since we cover businesses topics, uh, let's try to find uh, figure out uh, how the Mafia makes money. But uh, to do that, uh, we have to understand uh, what Mafia really is. As I have mentioned before, mafias are like uh, corporations, uh, but they are usually run by uh, families that come over, claims uh, sovereignty over a territory and starts uh, focusing every business under their rule to pay uh, them a share of their profit. And that's how they make money. And that's it. Thank for watching. I see you. Just kidding. There is actually much more. Uh, back in the days, in the 19th century, in the, some parts of the world, such as uh, uh, Sicilia, uh, the government uh, couldn't protect businesses from uh, thief uh, and uh, burglars and uh, enforce law. So, uh, if the police can't do this job, uh, someone else had to take that responsibility. And that's uh, how uh, Sicilian Mafia begins. They offered uh, protections uh, but required businesses to pay a certain uh, portion of their profits uh, to the Mafia. And it makes sense uh, to businesses, if you are protected by the Mafia, no one will uh, mess with you because the Mafia made uh, sure that it's... Uh, portrays uh, an image of fear and violence so that no one would uh, mess with you otherwise they know that uh, they will uh, have to deal with the mafia the mafia step uh, extent um, uh, more like a government that uh, enforced order in the streets at this point it seems like the mafia was uh, doing a good job but uh, not everything is as uh, shiny as it seems if you refuse to pay them their share or your profit uh, of your profits you will have to protect yourself from the from them which is a really bad idea but if you uh, ally uh, with them they will help to deal with your competitors if your neighbor's uh, store starts working harder and attract more clients all what you have to do is to call your mafia boss and they will wipe uh, them uh, from the face uh, of the earth so that you remain the only store in the area besides uh, collecting taxes mafia are usually involved in the illegal businesses where the uh, competition is small or doesn't exist at all uh, and the profits are extraordinary such as money uh, laundering uh, uh, prostitutions, drug, uh, truck firing, uh, weapons dealing, uh, uh, smuggling, robbery, and the list goes on. During the uh, prohibitions period in the United States, uh, when uh, there was a uh, ban on the productions, uh, transportations, and sales of alcohol, uh, Bevers, uh, the mafias, was all in. They took over the entire alcohol industry because only the Mafia had the uh, manpower to move alcohol uh, and uh, sell it across the country illegally. In the 1970s and 80s, uh, the American Mafias created uh, shims uh, to avoid paying taxes when selling uh, gas oil. One, uh, so they crashed their comp uh, competitors by lowering their prices and still be profitable. That earned them millions of the dollars that uh, they supposed to pay to IRS. Uh, Michael uh, Frenzer, which you might know from the uh, Wellington interview. Uh, if you haven't watched, uh, then you absolutely should. Organized a gas uh, scandal and uh, stole over 290 million in the gas oil taxes by uh, evading the IRS and uh, shutting down the gas stations before government officially could make him pay. Uh, what he owned, uh, the mafia grew so 
exponentially that uh, they expanded into the many other industries such as restaurants, bars, uh, constructions and so on. It might seem like uh, mafias are things uh, of the parts but they exist even today. But of course they are uh, nowhere as uh, powerful as uh, we are in the past. Yakuza, uh, for instance, which is one of the most popular mafias in the world, had over 180,000 members in the 1960s. However, their numbers dropped to a few thousands in the recent years. And the same has happened to the almost all of other mafias across the globe.